Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. I'm going to speak about one of the most basic things in the chart work and that is the course steered and course made good triangle. So to understand this course steered, course made good triangle, please remember we are dealing with a triangle that is made up of three sides. So these three sides actually they represent six things. So they are actually vectors. Vector means you have magnitude and direction. So every side has got a magnitude and the direction. The first side is the course steered and engine speed. Course steered and engine speed is represented by one arrow. Right? So uh, uh, this is uh, one of the sides of the triangle where uh, you can say this is the course after leaving. And the size is equal to the speed over water. So this particular side that is the one arrow line is engine speed or the speed over water and the direction is course after the leeway. Which means if there was wind then uh, actual course steered uh, on the autopilot or by the AB is this. This is the actual course steered. That is small arrow line is the course that is steered. Because of the wind you get pushed in the leeward direction right and thereby we get the first side of the vector triangle that is the course after leeway. Sometimes they call it leeway track. Now at the end of this particular line we draw another vector that represents the set and rate of the current when we are making a triangle for one hour. Whenever I talk about the rate or I talk about the speed, I am dealing with the magnitude for one hour. Rate of current means the drift that is done in one hour. Now the arrow indicates the direction in which the current is getting drifted. So this is three arrow line. I like to call this line as small arrow line, the course being steer. This line as one arrow line, the course after leeway. And this is the three arrow line that is the line representing the set and drift. Now when I join the starting point with the end of three arrow line what I get is two arrow line. This two arrow line is course mid good. And if it is a triangle for one hour it is also speed mid good. Otherwise if this triangle is not for one hour then it is called distance mid good. This one is the direction in which the current is setting, so I will call it set and drift. But I can call it rate if the drift is for one hour. I can call it speed made good if it is if the triangle is for one hour. So here is a vector triangle. This is the small arrow course steer. This is leeway track or the course after leeway, set and drift, course made good and distance made good. Now it is possible that you are steering a course of 0, 06 0 and the wind is northerly causing a leeway of 6 degrees. So one arrow line becomes 0, 06 6. and in this particular diagram as you can see I might have given the current say 108 degrees true into say 3 knots. Small kn represents the knots. Course that is steer is 060, course after leeway 066 and the speed over water may be something like 12 knots. So 12 knots is the speed over water, the set and rate is 108 into 3 knots and what I might get is the course made good that is 096 degrees into 14 knots. So when I solve a triangle like this, at the end of completion of the triangle, what I get is course made good and speed made good. And the last part of the two arrow line may be called estimated position. So here is a vector triangle, what I call it course steered and course made good triangle. This is the situation one and I will be also dealing with this triangle in situation two. Situation 1 means I know the course steered. Course steered is 
no and what I have to do is to find CMG uh, SMG and estimated position now when I know the course tier right apparently I also know the set and rate and what I have to find out is the two arrow line that is a course met good and speed met good and also the estimated position that is uh, represented by the triangle in this situation the order of plotting the lines is small arrow line one arrow line three arrow line and two arrow line now I am going to deal with another situation that is I have to reach a certain destination I know my present position and I have to reach a certain destination so one of the first lines that I should be drawing is the course to make good that means two arrow line is the first line that is drawn I would call that situation two situation two means the first line that is known is the two arrow line and we will proceed in a reverse order of uh, the situation one suppose this is my initial position I found with the help of bearing and distance of and if this bearing pertains to say for example 0900 I can write the time along the arrow line at the end of arrow I will write the time whenever you draw a position line or bearing line it is very very important that you represent the bearing line with the arrow like this if you are drawing the terrestrial bearing then you must draw arrow only on one side and you should write down the time at the end of the bearing line this is the complete representation of a terrestrial bearing line right if you do not write the time at the end of a bearing line that means you are inserting the bearing line you must write down the time and uh, if you're talking about the celestial position line you have to draw the arrow on both ends and the time at the end of the arrow line you must actually write the time in line with the line suppose the line goes this way you write the timing this way the line goes this way you must write the time like this the idea is in a plot if there are too many lines you don't get confused which one is the position line and which one is not the position line so you don't put time on the wrong position line you might run a wrong position line right so this is my initial position at nine o'clock and I have to reach this point or sometimes they might say that here is the light and you must pass five miles of the light when nearest so what I do is from that light I draw a circle of five miles radius and from the initial position I draw a tangent on the dark now this is the course to make good the first ever line that is known to you is two arrow line and that is the course to make good now it seems the current in the area might be setting southeast so uh, we are going in the reverse order we have to draw three arrow line representing the set and rate we are making triangle for one hour so this is southeast into probably three knot that is the current that is known in that area from the end of current I will draw one arrow line cutting the arc for the speed over water that is the engine speed speed over water in the chart work we call speed over water as engine speed which is not strictly correct but from here I cut an arc for the distance that is distance traveled on water in one hour this is one arrow line now it seems in this area there is northerly wind now there is a difference between the representation of wind direction and the current direction wind is known from the direction from where it is coming and current is known from the direction where it is setting so this current is setting southeast this wind is coming from north now when I cut an arc for engine distance when I cut an arc for distance over water this makes a vector triangle for one hour now to know what course to steer 
because there is northerly wind which is causing a leeway of something like 8 degrees. I will put the small arrow line and that is the course to be steered. So in this particular example, initially when I am here and I have to pass this point, that is 5 miles when nearest to the light, probably the course to make good looks like 086 degrees true. And then when the current is southeast in 3 knots, I plot it here. From here I plot an arc of 12 miles, which is the speed over water, right? So I might get a course that is to be steered as 076. So this is 076 degrees and then there is a leeway of 8 degrees. So 8 degrees less than 076, that would be 068 degrees is the course to steer. So here you have seen in this particular situation, that is the situation 2 of course steer, course made good triangle. The first line that I drew was 2 arrow line, then 3 arrow line, then 1 arrow line and small arrow line. This is how you have to understand the drawing of situation 1 and situation 2. Situation 1 is when I know the course that is steered, I know the leeway, I know the set end rate, I know the engine speed etc. And I have to find out what is the course made good what is the speed made good, what is the estimated position. Whereas in situation 2, I know the initial point, I know the destination from where to pass, right. In other words, indirectly I know what is the course to make good. When I join these two points, right, uh, I get course to make good. That is the two arrow line drawn first. In the beginning, I will draw the current as is given, southeast into three knots. And from the end of current, I draw an arc of speed over water on the two arrow line. What I get is the, the third side of the vector triangle. There is a speed on water and course to steer to counteract the current. But what I want finally is course to steer to counteract not only current, course to steer to counteract current and wind. And that means this small arrow line. One point of observation which you should note when you are doing these kind of plottings, that is a course steered and course made good triangle. Uh, you will find in situation 1 as well as situation 2, small arrow line is always to the windwards of one arrow line. Small arrow line does not take part in the construction of vector triangle, but it needs to be shown. If you don't show small arrow line on the plot, you will lose 5 marks, right? Okay, another thing is, when the vessel travels from one place to other place, the golden rule is the vessel travels always on two arrow line. Physically, the ship is present on two arrow line. The ship is present on the two arrow line, but the heading is represented by small arrow line. That means the ship is seen like this. If you see the picture of the ship, the heading will be parallel to small arrow line, but ship physically travels on two arrow line. The so ship is not on small arrow line, ship is not on one arrow line, ship is always on two arrow line. That is what you must remember. That means if a particular lighthouse is a beam on the way, it means the bearing of lighthouse. When the question says that the lighthouse is a beam, then the bearing of the lighthouse is small arrow line plus minus 90 degrees. If the question if says that at such and such time uh, lighthouse is the beam that means the bearing of the lighthouse is small arrow line plus minus 90 plus for the starboard side and minus for the port side that means if my small arrow line in this particular question happens to be 68 then 68 plus 90 is 158 will be the bearing of lighthouse when it is a beam so this is 68 and 158 will be something like this this is the bearing when the light is a beam, but physically the ship is on two arrow line. Physically the ship is on two arrow line and what time the ship reaches this point has to be calculated by speed met good. The ETA is always calculated by the speed met good. So please remember a beam means small arrow line plus minus 90. On the other hand, nearest means two arrow line plus minus 90. That means if somebody says this light was nearest at such and such time. Nearest means 2 arrow line plus minus 90. 2 arrow line here is 86. 86 plus 90 is 176. So when this light is 176, this light will be nearest. 
Once again, the ETA will be calculated only with the speed made good. So these two things must be very, very carefully remembered that a beam means small arrow line plus minus 90 and nearest means two arrow line plus minus 90 and plus means starboard side minus means port side and ETA is always calculated by speed made good.